Another day, another chance for our old pal Toad to show his skills. And here we are in another grassland level. Yeah, that's one problem I have with Super Mario Bros. 2. It really doesn't do that well with level themes, because we're already repeating grassland. I mean, on one hand, I'm kind of tired of the whole Super Mario Bros. 3 sort of set of levels, you know, grassland, desert, water world, jungle, etc., etc., because they kind of overuse that one, but at least it's a set of levels that's not just the same thing over and over, unlike this. Which, there really aren't many level themes in this game. Which is a bit of a shame, because heck, even Super Mario World does that a little bit better. But, this is definitely where the game starts to get more difficult, I'd say. I mean, for crying out loud, that first little bit... Yeah, that's pretty cruel, putting a secret all the way down there, because who's gonna find that? Because that looks like a death hole. It definitely looks like a pit that's gonna kill you, but no, you have to go right down there. Ah, well. So, this is mostly a climbing section. It's, it's got a few different parts, actually. Actually, a lot of sections in this uh, particular world are actually vertical sections, if I remember correctly. There's a fair amount of vertical sections. That That's kind of what Doki Doki Panic was made for. It's supposed to be this uh, vertical scrolling thing, though. Really, it kind of shows its age just due to the fact that it does have to scroll, because... You know, back in the day, it might have been pretty neat to have these really tall levels, but, uh... Yeah, when the Game Boy Advance rolled around, or at least I assume, that's probably when it got annoying to have lots and lots of scrolling when you're trying to go up. It's fairly annoying to play at times. Of course, now we have a sky section, and unfortunately, I believe this is where panzers start getting really annoying. Full force annoying panzers, oh joy. Yep. They even move around from time to time. That one didn't, but they can, I'm pretty sure. And that is a weird-looking face. It is puking out ladders. And speaking of weird-looking faces... I think this was exclusive to the Game Boy Advance. Can't imagine why would they would make this for the NES. I don't even know what this is, but... It gets you lives, I guess? That's that. What the hell was that ball thing? Seriously. I got no idea. Yeah, well, whatever. Continuing on, more panzers and more danger, and another secret down here, if we can get past this guy. I actually managed to do that without getting hurt. I'm rather proud of myself. Because usually that guy ends up hitting me fairly easily. Like I said, panzer is pretty annoying from this point on. Speaking of annoying, why would you do that? Oh, there's nothing here. Oh, wait, no, you just need to give a chance for this mushroom to fall from the sky, and goddammit, why did that enemy have to respawn? Like, out of all the enemies that could have respawned, it was the guy that annoys me. I'm sure you will. Uh, could you just give me a I said give me a second, Bernetta. Jeez. Anyway, there's actually a secret that leads back here, but you can just leap over that little section by yourself. But I did have to go over there in order to get that last A coin. Alright, now we can fight Burdetta, which can be tricky, because the mushroom blocks we need to hurt her are all the way back here, so it's a pretty claustrophobic fight overall, unless you choose to use eggs, but if you do that, then you're at risk for falling off the ledge, and jeez. Okay, that was a thing that happened. <laughs> well, okay, then. Alright, that's over and done with. Devour me, Hawkmouth so that I may play slots, and I guess also move on to the next stage. And that took forever. Alright, back to the next stage. Let's see, is this the stage I think it is, or is that a later stage? Because I remember one particular, uh, uh, grassland stage. Oh, I think this is it! Of course, it does start off with a frickin' uh, shy guy riding an Ostro. Which is amazing, because seriously, the Shy Guys just have a frickin' ostrich mount, it's amazing. That is like the best concept, and it's so underutilized. But unfortunately, other than that, I really don't like this stage. Like, at all. It is one of my least favorite stages in the game, and you might know what it involves just because of these crumbly blocks right here. Can you guess? You think it's gonna be a whole lot of bombs? Because if you say whole lot of bombs, you'd be right. 
Now, if you're not after 100% or anything like that, Peach is actually good for this stage because she can float over that gap over there, so she doesn't have to go through any of this crap. Uh, that it. <laughs> well, okay then. That's uh, some great, some great uh, coding there, or hit detection, whatever that happens to be. But uh, yeah, Peach very useful for speed r running this stage. She might have the lowest stats, and she might be terrible against bosses, but she can be used for some pretty technical stuff, which is very helpful overall. Which uh, I think is the one thing that puts her above Mario, because not even Luigi could have made that jump over there. But yeah, just a whole lot of bomb stuff, and of course there's Potion, and yeah, that's why I kind of had to blow up that wall, because uh, you can't fall down ladder holes with a Potion for some reason, and I don't know why. Or maybe you can, and I just wasn't accurate enough, and jeez. Okay, I'm actually at one health, that kind of sucks, but instant heal. Easy enough. Oh, and of course these guys respawn. They always respawn. Always when they're most annoying. And of course there's another one of these sections. Just up and down for no real reason other than to get that Panzer to be more annoying than it already was. But yeah, just a bunch of bomb sections, and I really wish it were over already, because I don't like bomb sections. And again, Princess Peach can skip that. Uh, that is actually pretty great. Okay, I must admit those are some actually pretty good obstacles right there with those Bezo guys. And of course it ends with one of these bomb dropping segments, which I hate. And I never remember where to put this bomb normally. It's right here, and gotta get... Actually, no, you don't even have to get past these hedgehogs because they don't appear in this mirror world. So that was easy enough, thankfully. And I believe we're pretty much done with this stage, right? Right, you want to prove me right? Just through the door and we're at the end, correct? Thank goodness. At least the stages are short in this game. Alright, you more or less have to use eggs for this battle since, uh... I mean, you don't have to, but, uh... Pick up those mushroom blocks and you'll have to super jump back up, and of course that could be tricky due to timing, and really it's just more of a waste of time than anything else, so... Just use the old eggs, dodge the old fireballs, and you should be good. Of course, you do kind of need to come down if you uh, lose a few hearts and need to heal, but whatever, I think that should be fairly obvious. And more slots. And absolutely nothing was achieved. Alright, it's time for the castle stage. Alright, what do we got this time? Let's see... Well, I can't really tell, because there's a cave. Alright, uh... Oh yeah, I know this one. Oh boy. Albatrosses dropping bob and Shy Guys riding Ostros. And this is probably not a good idea, I should have done that, except for the fact that I get a second POW block! That was definitely my plan all along. Anyway, this is... Oh wait, no, this actually might be something completely different thought there was a section devoted to that, but no, apparently not, it was just that beginning bit. <laughs> and I got myself worried for- oh jeez, nothing. Alright, jeez. It's all these things that I can pick up and throw that I don't really have that much of a use. Well, okay, that got me a few hearts, so I guess that's good. <laughs> Toad is apparently very thankful for that electrocution. Toad, I didn't know you were into that, but hey, I ain't gonna judge! But, you are kind of dying from that, so maybe you shouldn't, you know... Maybe you shouldn't shock yourself too much, though. I'm sure I will get electrocuted plenty of times. Oh, I remember this castle now. This one is annoying for sure. This section is easy. No ifs, ands, or buts about it, you just jump straight up and even the spawning Shy Guys shouldn't stop you. But of course, as I'm sure you all know... There's a Fanto section, and now this is where this gets tricky. You'll, you'll want to remember that you can throw the key to get Fanto off your back. You'll want to remember that those Shy Guys exist so they don't drop on you. And yeah, you'll also want to remember that level wrapping exists, which is very helpful because it makes this section a whole lot easier. 
Because otherwise you'd have to deal with the spawning shy guys and, you know, actually have to go through them. But you can just go around them. It's still an annoying segment either way, but... You can make it slightly easier and... Wow, that guy ambushed me, jeez. Alright, just another vertical section. I don't remember this one off the top of my head. More of these old uh, guys whose name eludes me at the moment, actually. I don't remember them. I want to call them Watt, but that's the partner from Paper Mario. I know that for a fact, because Watt was pretty great. It's just a whole platforming section full of uh, these guys and big old pluses. Luigi would definitely be good for this stage, though. Uh, geez, Toad is actually probably one of the worst people for this section, just because his jump is so terrible, but Luigi's good, Mario's not, Peach is decent, but she's more for dodging rather than actually going upwards. And I believe we want to keep going up for a secret. And of course, ooh. I almost fell down there. That would not have been good in the slightest, because, uh, you can't climb with a potion. That would have screwed me over completely. So don't fall down. That would be bad. Pro game tips for you, I know. I'm just so very helpful. And I believe we go down for this, for this A coin. And if we were Luigi, we could probably get back up there, but unfortunately, I think we have to take the long way back around. Again, Toad, not the best for this one. Though I guess we did get a free one up out of that, so it's kind of useful. Oh, okay, that was pretty cool, I gotta say. And <laughs> I have that sweet sweet veggie pickup, and then I just botch throwing it at a guy who's just standing still and jumping. Way to go, self. You sure are the best around. Nobody take you down. Which is why you just had an enemy ram its face, aka its entirety, right into you and oh god damn it. Okay, that guy is out for blood. None of this is my fault. He is just he is just absolutely rabid, man. You, you can't you can't deal with that guy. You just got to avoid him completely, and even then, that's pretty difficult because he's he's got your number, man. He's not gonna get off your case. Okay, so that was very roundabout to just get one A coin and an extra life and a pretty sweet veggie trick. But now we're back to progressing. All right. Oh God. Now I remember this section. This is the section with a whole lot of panzers. I hate this section, I hate this section, I hate this section. Oh yes, and scrolling. Scrolling also happens. And screw that section. I know it's a short section, but I don't care. It's annoying. Panzers everywhere, and they are the worst, and the scrolling is terrible. Should have been a higher up area, but whatever. <laughs> and the shell just gets stuck there. Kinda wanted to follow it down and uh, see it kill those panzers, though. Oh, and of course we have one of these areas where we get a whole lot of cherries. You know these are just made to get you an extra life from a star man. But I'm not gonna linger around here and do that, because honestly, I just like to progress through this level, because it's actually kinda gone on for a while as it has been already. It's a fairly long level, if only due to the fact that there's that one section where you have to loop around if you want that A-coin, so... I guess in the original versions, this was a much shorter level, because you don't have to do that. Well, if you're using Luigi, you don't have to do that. But, as Toad, I did have to take the long way. Of course, maybe I could have uh, jumped off that Sniffet, if the Super Jump could have charged fast enough. Okay, this section's actually pretty cool, because we're... Well, it's not quite ramparts, but we are above the castles, so going from one tower to the other, and I think that's pretty neat, design-wise anyway. And if we head up here, we get the last A-coin. Feels like we only got a few of them at be the beginning and then just got them all at the end of the stage all of a sudden. Anyway, I don't know what you just said. This is a Game Boy Advance exclusive fight. Originally, you actually fought Mauser a second time, Instead, we're fighting Roberta. And honestly, this is probably one of the hardest boss fights in the game. 
don't be standing when she jumps on the ground like that, because otherwise you'll be stunned. Now, while Toad wasn't the best for the stage, as I'm sure you can imagine, he is very good for this section in particular, this boss, rather, because, uh, even he takes a little while to pick up these eggs. Peach would be just lifting these forever, really. The other difficult part about this boss is just the fact that, uh, she takes quite a few hits, and also she can kind of just charge you on a dime. Like, sometimes there's a warning, and sometimes there's not. It's a little bit of an RNG-based battle, just because you don't know if she's going to try to charge you or throw eggs at you. It's really kind of annoying, and it's not one of my favorite bosses, but it's kind of nice that there's a fairly difficult boss in the game. They added that. That was kind of lucky. Thankfully, she is stunned for a while. That's another good thing. And really, overall, it's kind of nice that they just decide not to use Mauser a second time here, because, uh, yeah... I don't know why they would, you know, get given the chance. But I don't know why they wouldn't make new bosses, because we shouldn't have to face Mauser twice, right? Because he was an easy boss in the first place, and really, he wasn't that interesting anyway, so hey, at the very least, there was a new boss. And speaking of which, the new boss is dead, so hooray, we win! And with that fairly long castle stage out of the way, well, first we'll do slots, but then there are a few secrets that I want to show off. Oh wow, it's actually pretty decent. I got two lives out of the slots, which is much better than I got last time. Because last stage I had like ten coins and I still didn't get any lives. Oh, that's disappointing. Alright, anyway, so, you might have noticed that base back in, uh, Stage 3-1 that we didn't go into, and there was a potion near it, so I'm sure you all know where this is going. And I missed that acorn. Oh no, whatever will I do? I will get that acorn in the run where I actually, you know, did the entire stage, not just part of it. Imagine that. Alright, so yeah, easy enough, potion here door there, and vase. So, with that, we could move on to World 5. Well, I mean, we're not going to, we're going to move on to World 4, but first, there's actually another little secret in World 3-1. And if you use Peach or maybe Luigi? I think Peach might be the only one who can get back here, but yeah, this is how you get back here normally. You pretty much need Peach or possibly Luigi. But that's all there is for secrets. After this horrible Birdo fight, I will see you next time. Because seriously, no one has ever fought Birdetta this badly. What the hell was that even?